So today is a super exciting, important day because we are about to go on road trip spring break part two with the fam. It's Posey's first time flying on a plane, so we're super excited. Yeah, she's so little still and she gets to go on an airplane. We're going to Arizona and we hope she doesn't scream her head off for the whole flight. Hi, did you miss the vlog? Oh, slime. <laughs> Cool, dude. We're going to Hair by Christy, gonna get her hair done. We're going to this awesome water slide hotel. Oh, it's gonna be cool. Okay, I'm trying my best to vlog uh, the experience, but we're running late and we got a lot of extra stuff that we gotta carry now. Both suitcases, a bag with baby stuff, uh, baby stroller and car seat, and we are trying to get to the airport and we're running kind of late so hopefully we make it. I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh, you think we're gonna make it? We gotta go! Oh, looks like a... What the heck is going on? <laughs> we're gonna make it. Okay. 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 Oh, that line's long. You alright? Our flight leaves at 10.10. We'll see. We'll see, it's gonna be close. And we made it. I am the last person getting on this plane. Woo! They us on. The last people. We made it. I'm finally next to the window because my dad doesn't let me um, be next to the window. <sighs> That's our plane right there. So unfortunately I got separated from my family on the flight. I had to take them for the team and sit in the middle row next to two kind of smelly people. But it's alright. We made it to Arizona and Posey I heard did great and she's happy now. So we are headed to uh, the hair salon place and then the water park hotel baby. I think Cole might have had an accident on the plane. So, like I was telling them, I was squished in between two people because we got late. Uh -huh. And I took a nap with my water and I spilled the water on my bottom area. I think he just peed himself and he's really embarrassed. We made it to the salon and there's a lot of women <laughs> in here. Katie's with us. Um, and we have baby Senna. And we got Savannah's niece. This is my niece. Senna. Chantel and Coulter back there. Posey. Yeah, she's got Posey. Um, but guys, this is Savannah's real hair. It got really short. It grew back it's, again. It's growing it's back. It's growing a lot. It's growing a lot. Look at that. Like it's really thick too. I want her to. I want her just to do this, but and not put extensions in it. But she wants to. I, I kind of like. I just like the extensions. It's fun. I kind of like the shorter. It's fun having like cute. a crazy amount of hair. Yeah. Back here again with baby, and Savannah just showed up, and she just got her makeup done. Oh my gosh! Look how hot she looks. Oh my, 
Baby, you look like a hot girl. <laughs> okay, so yes, I got a haircut. That's not what I'm showing you guys though. Po uh, Savannah sent Posey up to me, and we blew out. We blew out. So now I gotta go change. Um, Oh, geez, I'm gonna get it on me. I gotta put the camera on. Ah, so we're all looking fresh, but I want to show off everybody's buns real quick. We're about to do a photo shoot. Family shoot. You'll see on the gram. Also, right on here. Everly, show us his buns. Ooh, can you work them real quick? Oh my gosh, those look good. So this is our room. We're staying at the Arizona Grand here in Arizona. Check it out. First thing that we see. They are so sweet. And look at it. Chocolate look strawberries, it. candy. They left us a little thing. Oh, the Brant family. Oh, so I'm talking about. Guys, this place is so nice. I mean. Um, and we just got a look at the water park just like from across oh, the way. Guys, you can see the water park. It's dark. That right there is slides. And the lazy river. Tomorrow is gonna be We're so gonna much be fun. Tomorrow. The villa that they hooked us up with is so big and so nice. Oh my gosh! Like, have you ever seen like a I don't think I've ever technical seen, like, like hotel technical. this nice? Oh, I mean, yeah, they even have like a little pack and play for Posey. Man, nice. Thanks. Grand Arizona. Oh, we're gonna link their hotel if you guys are ever in Arizona and need an awesome place to stay. This place is nice. This place is it. So, uh, hooking you guys up. It's daytime, guys, and that water slide is looking big and fun. And I'm not going on it because I'm too scared. This is the only reason that we came to see this awesome place so that you could go down this awesome water slide. And there's poles here. Yeah, but I'm going to do it. Will you do it if I do it? I think you'll do it by the end of the day. Oh, here it is. The slide. What do you think, Ev? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. You think you'll do it? Maybe. I think you can do that. So we're gonna do the smaller slide first, and then. Wait, is it the twisty one? This is the twisty one. Oh, it's not one of those. No, those are the ones that we're gonna try to lead up to. But first, this one. Sound good? Hopefully my camera doesn't get wet. I don't even have a GoPro. So you had to be 48 inches, and Ev wasn't tall enough, so they didn't let her go on. Oh, we'll try again later. I'm gonna talk really loud so you can't hear the music, but they're having like a balloon popping contest, hula hoop, limbo, and dance contest, and Everly is so competitive. She's so excited. She's gonna kill it. She's wearing the pink hat right there, guys. Yeah! One, go! Go up! Go up! Oh no, someone's on your balloon! Oh no, up! Run! Oh, she's tangled up, she's tangled up. Pop her balloon! Pop her balloon! Pop it! Oh, Wow! Come on, Ev! Yeah! Go, Ev! Yeah, go! Go! Go, Ev! Go! Go! Woo! Go, Ev! Keep going! Keep going! Oh, this, this boy's got it down, though. This boy's. Oh, come on, Ev! Oh, oh, Ev! Keep going! Yeah! Yeah! Go, Ev! Round two! Go! 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 Focus! Look at that determination. Awesome job. Let's see a full circle, please. Oh! Here she comes. She's still screaming. Here she comes. Yeah! Nice! You screamed the whole way down. How was it? Fun. So um, wait. So what? Wait. What? What? Oh! Oh! We're, 
Hey. What? Hey, oh my gosh. <laughs> what? Welcome back to the vlog. Um, it's gonna be the, it's gonna be our best vlog yet. Hey, we, we really haven't gotten anywhere in the first okay, minute of this vlog yet. Whoa! Hi. Hi. Yeah. As y'all can tell, it's dark. It's late. We're standing by this lamp to have light. Pose is asleep. We're getting out of California. We're getting out of here. Most of my family, as you guys probably know, hasn't seen Zealand. As you guys know, all my family lives in Florida. Only, only like us. Uh, only like your mom, dad. My mom, dad, and two of my siblings. But I, I have a big family. Have it on both sides. Yeah. So we just have a lot of family who hasn't seen Zealand, and it's funny. I actually have a lot of family who hasn't even seen Posey, just because we don't get really to see that family much. Um, so we're gonna go to Florida, and we're gonna go see my family, and um, we're so excited. We're so excited just to kind of travel. Kind of scary, but kind of scary. But we're just gonna make sure that we're really safe, and mm -hmm. you know, flights, especially the flight that we're getting, is like one of the top as far as like the safety levels, so. But we're gonna be super careful, we have lots of things. So, so don't worry about that, we're, we're excited to travel. We're excited to travel. We're so excited. A little Z-Man, first time on a plane. I'm the kind of guy where literally, I'll, our flight's at 9.30 in the morning, we'll leave our house at eight, I'll start packing at seven, 7.30 in the morning. Yeah, I don't stress out about many things, but I stress out about packing and him packing at five seconds before we leave the house. Because he always forgets something. I usually One forget my underwear. Your eyes are <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so let us know if you guys are the kind of people who pack super last minute or if you're like Savannah where she packs for herself and for Zealand and for Everly, Everly and for Posey. And for the day before. The diaper bag for the plane ride. Yes, toys, Can snacks. Toys, snacks. She does it all. Packing and packing and packing and packing. Vlogging and holding my baby. Oh, he's so cold. Uh, oh, Ava, he's like, oh, this is nice. Hey. It probably re reminds him of the womb. Uh-huh. And then mom and dad are just over here like, hey. He's like, hello. Hey, hello. 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 Good morning. Hi. It's time to fly. Got the bags all packed. Posey, are you ready to go fly on an airplane? This can be crazy. So everybody actually lost a tooth last night, so we're checking to see. I actually lost two. I got seven bucks for this tooth, and now I lost that tooth yesterday night. <gasps> Any money? Ten bucks? Oh my goodness. Just for that little tooth? What the heck? We should pull out more teeth so then you get more money. Yes, lady. Here, say, oh, do you have any more wiggly teeth? No. All right. No, it's really good. Five people, three bags, backpack, little stroller. Pack light, y'all. Kind of light. Made it through security. This isn't too bad. This isn't too bad because nobody's here because of COVID-19. <laughs> nobody's here. Yeah. We're going to Denver. 14, this way. First up, Denver, Colorado. Tampa, Florida. Hop like a bunny, let me see you hop. Hop! <laughs> Woo! In the layover, we got some yogurt. Um. We got some breast milk for big boy. <laughs> Everybody's got a uh, pretzel so dog. <laughs> a nasty pretzel dog. <laughs> Fishing in Florida. Everyone, what do you have to say for yourself? She loves this place. She loves this place. Whoa. Oh, oh, whoa. oh, whoa. That's off again. What do you have to say? Oh, whoa. Okay, I gotta have some good reaction. Holy moly, guacamole. So, Posey actually. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. Posey actually fell asleep for like two of the three hours on that flight. So, that flight was actually pretty easy. Because Zealand's yeah, easy. Oh, it was wrong. easier than the first one. Kind of, because Posey slept. Yeah, overall, there's really no difference of having three kids yet besides yeah, yeah. the fact that um, we just don't sit by each other anymore. Savannah and I have lost all 
touching and romance on flights. <laughs> it's strictly keep these kids alive. I'm sorry guys, I'm trying so hard to keep my nose in this thing. I'm sure it'll get a lot harder once he is awake. Once he's awake, yep. so whenever far. he's at Posey's age and Posey's three, oh, it's gonna be a madhouse trying to fly, but <laughs> this one wasn't too bad. And it's crazy because we left early morning in California and we just landed and it's already dark here in Florida. That's how mm -hmm. the time difference and how long it is of flying. Almost dark. No, it's pretty much dark. It's dark out. Oh. Woohoo! All right, so we're here with my mama. Woohoo! Party time. <laughs> and my dad. Hey. Yeah, we're in Florida. Florida. How hot is it? Nice and humid. It's not too hot, but it, but it is, but it is dark out, and we're in an underpass. So we made it to Florida. It's so cute. <laughs> it's late. I'm going to bed, but I always think it's so so funny whenever <laughs> he's in this thing. He's he's like it just reminds me of like a caterpillar, like in a cocoon, <laughs> <laughs> or like a crazy person in a straight jacket. He's so chill. Let's see if I can give him a smile. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> okay, no, not you. <laughs> no, okay, oh. not today. Sorry. We'll eventually get a smile on camera. He yeah. just smile. He does smile. It's kind of hard to get on camera because it's yeah. rare. It's so rare. But we're just here in we're the We're going bed and we'll vlog a little bit in the morning. <laughs> A Florida life, huh. and maybe we'll even get the grandparents' reaction to Zealand because they haven't seen him yet. That'd Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so it's morning time here in Florida, and we're about to go out and have a fun day with the family. But before we did, um, we wanted to talk with everybody about something, and we just feel like this is super important to talk about and to um, remember and to talk with your kids about and make sure that they're aware and that they just know of our nation's history and things like that. Um, especially even so much more important because yesterday we actually flew on 9-11. And it kind of makes me a little sad because I booked those flights over the phone and whenever I booked those flights, I forgot, I, it didn't even cross my mind that I was booking on 9-11. I just was booking a flight for September 11th and then it was after I booked the flight, I told Savannah and she was like, we're flying on 9-11, which is something that I think just is naturally a little eerie and um, can be a little, a little freaky, um, but does, does that even make any sense to you? Like, do you even know what 9-11 is? No. No? No idea? And, and that's why we're talking with her about it. I feel like she's seven, she's at an age where she can understand. But we didn't want to tell her before we started flying, or while we were flying, so now it's the next day and we aren't flying and we don't want her to be scared the whole time. But 9-11 um, is a day where 19 years ago, I was five years old, I was in kindergarten, and your mom was your age, yeah. pretty much. And we were in school. And I still remember it. And everywhere we were in school, the news came on all over the country, over the whole world pretty much. The news came on and some airplanes flew, some bad people took over an airplane, like where the pilots were, some bad people rushed in, killed the pilots, and they took over the airplane and they flew the airplane into buildings and killed a lot of people. And the airplanes exploded and buildings blew up and... Wait, so was that today? I mean, that was yesterday. Yesterday, so, 19 years ago. Time. It didn't happen yesterday, but on, on the on that day. you know, you know like you have a birthday yeah. and we celebrate it every year. It's like that. It's like it happened on that day, but it's a day that everybody. Remembers. It's called 9/11. Not a happy memory. Why not? Obviously. 9/11 because nine is September, mm -hmm. the ninth month, and 11 is the 11th day. So yesterday was 9/11. Like, like if you're in class. 14. Your birthday is 12:14. So on 9/11 every year we sell we we don't celebrate but but we remember it. We remember it because a lot of people died and it's really sad and a lot of families were just on a flight like us. It was like 19 years later, a lot of people just were flying to see family. They're flying just to have a normal time. And, and there were four, to, it was four different planes, right? Yeah, it was. Four different planes that bad guys jumped in on the, on the captain, hurt the captain, and then rushed the planes into There's just, they're, really tall towers in New York. It happened in New York and a few other places, but, but this is a video of one of the buildings in New York. These buildings aren't in New York anymore because these were the, some of the tallest towers in New York, but you can see how it's smoking and on fire. That's because one of the planes crashed into it and everybody who was on the plane died and a lot of people all in the towers. There was all people working in there too. People were working in here while the building caught on fire. And, and what you're gonna see is you're gonna see, it's kind of blurry, but you're gonna see another plane crash into this building, okay? So this is what happened 19 years ago. This is this is the real thing. This is a real video. It's not like a movie or something. This really happened. You see the explosion? That was a plane that crashed into it. That plane crashed into it. 
So I didn't see it. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's on the fast. other side, yeah. and it's so fast. But that, that's how fast it would be. Um, and then that really happened, and, it, and it's sad because. Wait, and the people, the bad people, even yeah, died, died too. too. Mm -hmm. yep. So we kind of off camera showed everybody some some things and some stories of some of the people and it's just super tragic and really sad and, and, and that's part of the reason why now whenever you go through airports they do the security. Back then the security wasn't, they had, intense, intense. yeah, they had airport security but it was a lot easier to go through but because bad guys were able to sneak weapons on planes, um, now that's when they pat you down, they check your bags and make sure that you aren't taking anything that could. Wait, but they, how do you like, did they like suck the building? Or did they just crash? They, they but how did they get into the airplane? How did the bad guys? There's they're just, just like, they did, a normal person on the plane. Yeah, it just, it just looks like you and me. You just buy a ticket. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then they had like... But they were able to sneak... Sneak a thing in their bag and then shoot the guys so they can... Mm -hmm. I don't know the exact stories. Don't know what really I don't know the exact stories, so I don't want to say anything that good. But essentially they were able to sneak... sneak. Airport security wasn't as strict as it is now, so they were able to sneak things on the, the plane to help them hijack the plane. Hijack means take over. So they were able to take over the plane. So they probably had scary weapons that... How did they know how to fly? I don't know. Is that they, how they kind of... Yeah, they knew how to fly the plane. These, these bad guys were very trained and they, they knew what they wanted to do. But I remember waking up the morning that it happened, my mom, my, I heard my mom like crying out in the family room. And this was when I lived like in San Jose, like when I was little. And I heard my mom and my dad out in the family room. So I walked out and I remember I was your age and I was just, like looked at the TV and I was just like, what's happening? Like I was so confused. Like you would be so confused if you saw one on the TV, right? That's scary because, because nobody knew what was going to happen next. So my mom kept me home from school that day, obviously. As everyone else's parents usually. Yeah, school, school was canceled. pick up their, their kids from school. I, th I think all day. flights were canceled for like almost a week mm -hmm. just because nobody knew if it was going to happen again. You know, it, it, it wasn't, it was those two towers and other planes crashed in other places. And what's sad so too like, is what's sad, what's sad too is like police officers and firefighters and helpers like that also died from helping. Thousands of people died, lots trying of Trying to get people out of buildings and stuff like that. Like it was a bit, really big deal. But that's why sad. it's really sad, but that's why we always want to remember those people who, who lost their lives and who just died tragically or died saving people. Well, it's a good, it's important. It's a good history lesson for you to learn about too. Then you know. Do you have any questions? And now you know what 9-11 is. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? No. No? Mm -hmm. Well, um, our thoughts and prayers obviously go out to any of the victims or victims' family members who um, were involved in 9-11. I know that it goes far beyond just obviously the people who died, but the people who um, were hurt or injured or were in New York during that time or all over the country. Um, it's just unimaginable. Wait, so, but, um, so could did everybody die? Honestly, it feels a lot longer than two years. Yeah. Two years of marriage feels like 40 years of marriage. Yeah, you're, you're horrible. You make it really hard. It's a joke, guys. Just kidding. We love we're, each other. We're, we're those funny YouTubers. Like, um, we, do, we do feel like, though, that we've known each other for way longer than I know, we it's crazy. We've only known each other for what? We've only known each other for three years, guys. We've but we're only... together 24-7, so I really do feel like I'm three like Before that. three years ago, we didn't even know each other existed. Because we met randomly at a mall. Like, that's so wild to think that, like, because we spend every single second of every, every day. Because and... we do this, so it's not like and we, we love don't it. ever get to separate. Like, a lot of people are, like, just spending every second of every day with each other suck. And I mean, I'll speak for myself, you can speak for yourself, but yeah. I think we both kind of, like, it has its time, but it's like we do need breaks, and we do take those breaks, you know? Yeah. Where like she has girl time when she needs it, and we both are very open, like, you let me know when you're feeling like you're tired of me, and we'll take a little break. And we have those moments, but not often, you know? It's, I think yep. we, 
Two years and we're still best friends. We're only, we've only been married two years. <laughs> we're still not even saying Yeah, I mean, we've only been married two years, so like, I don't even know what, what, what we're, we're saying. I always going to be with him. I hope so. Even after like 10 kids, because we're going to have like 10. I hope so. I hope so. Uh, but we're about to go on an also, anniversary trip. Side note. Um, we're about to go on an anniversary trip. Uh, we, we were going to go back to where we had our honeymoon, but we had a lot of travel this summer, and also we just didn't want to leave. Like I've left Everly overnight before. She's um, she's sick now, but <laughs> po Posey, like I can't leave her overnight for a long time. Like, Posey's, yeah, Posey's still nurses, you know, breastfeeds, and she's very dependent so on us. So we were going to go for like three nights to uh, where we did our honeymoon, but we decided not to because that's just way too hard. Especially and then we weren't going to do anything. Especially for me. Yeah. No, and it was being away from her at nighttime. Yeah. But we are leaving her for the first time today and tonight overnight with my mom. We are like, so we I'm have... kind of having anxiety. We, we both honestly didn't really want to because we are like... We can just like have like a movie date night at the house. Like we have like you know. Or we can just go somewhere and then come back. But night. yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or we can go out and then come back before bedtime. But right you now we need to prioritize our marriage. Yeah. We need to get out for a night and trust grandma with the new baby. And so we're leaving her overnight. So we're leaving her overnight. Leaving out. Evelyn too, but you guys, she's old, so it's not like a huge deal to leave Evelyn overnight for one night. She she can handle her. Nervous. <laughs> There's so many little things. And Posey just got over big the big flu that you guys know about. She like, I know. She's just gotten better, so it's like, right, got that going on. I'm really sad. But before we leave, we want to take a trip down memory lane. Yes. <laughs> we want to take you guys back because to of, our engagement yes. because that was so special. So we're going to show you guys a clip from our engagement so then you guys can be all caught up on Because us. Because so many of you guys, like, back then, I think whenever we got engaged, we had, like, one two million subscribers. Yeah. So like that was two years ago when we had. You guys engaged. should go watch the whole engagement video and, two and, a half years. and wedding video if you have. Yeah. But here's a clip of our engagement. It really is just as much of all this as me and Savannah are. So I wanted to make it sure that it was super okay with her. Obviously that I became her dad, her daddy. So I got you this little ring, it's the smallest ring I could find, and wanted to know, anyway, is it okay if I be your daddy? Uh, here, let's let's see if it fits on this one. So then one day when you find a boy, you can put it on that one. Let's see if it fits. Oh, it's a perfect fit. There you go. <laughs> I know I wanted to marry you from day one of meeting you, and it's crazy because we got all of our friends and family here now, and it's a lot more official than I ever thought it would be. But um, Peter's my best friend in the whole wide world, and. I know I'd ever want to spend the rest of my life with so. uh -huh. Savannah Rosudis, are you marrying me? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Good? Good? Look how much I'm taking. We were in love. Now we're going to show you guys part of our wedding video because that's probably my favorite video that we've ever made. Of all time. Of all time. I mean, the birth video is a good one. That's pretty Getting good. Getting Carl's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> but here's a clip from our wedding. God put us together and that you chose me not only to be your husband but to be Everly's dad. A life with someone who prays for us daily, loves us endlessly, and makes us feel like the most beautiful girls in the world. You're our greatest treasure and you're our hero. Everly Rose, I promise to always love you little girl and I promise that I'll always love you mommy, that I'll never hurt or be mean to her. Always monkey, I love you.
I mean, it's it comes close with Everly and Posey's birth, but best day ever. Yeah. Well, you guys, we're about to head out. We're gonna leave the girls. Well, we've left Everly before, but we're gonna leave Posey for the first time overnight. And we're gonna leave both girls. Yeah, it's really and we're gonna go vlog ourselves so saying goodbye. We probably won't vlog much on our trip, maybe like the room, but you know, we're gonna be busy. <laughs> uh, eating a lot of food. Eating a lot of food and watching Netflix. So, um, <laughs> we're pretty much gonna be doing exactly what we No, we're gonna go in the jacuzzi. We're gonna do fun things. We're getting a massage, jacuzzi. I got a present that I'm gonna give her. Yeah, I have something to do. Okay, let's just go say bye, bye go. the kids. And maybe we'll take the clothes. Okay. Ever, are you sad? Or is this just. Everly's really been having like the laziest day today. Or is this just nothing to you? Is it no big deal? Do you get sad when we leave you? Or do you, do you still get sad? Or do you not care because you're with your Gigi? She's speechless. That's how sad she is. <laughs> so is Posey. Give me hugs because I love you. Aww. At least. Like we, are you going to take good care of the baby first? I feel like it would almost be more sad if she was awake and we had to like, know. you know, say goodbye while she was awake. It's almost even more sad. It's equally as sad though because she's going to wake up and we're not going to be here. I know. So. Don't, you just got to take help take care of her, after, okay? Oh. That's family love right there. Yeah. Are you gonna miss this? She's gonna wake up and she's gonna be like, where's my mama? We're only gonna be out for 24 hours. <laughs> but we are sad. Oh, We're still sad. Right. Okay, let's just go. Okay, Emily, take good care of the baby first, okay? Bye, Posey baby. Bye, everybody. Be a really baby. good big sister. Love you. Be a sweet girl. Be a good helper. Be good for Gigi. Give me hugs. Give mommy hugs. Final I love hug. You. So we are in our hotel room, and it is nice, right on the beach, guys. Uh, if you guys know us, we're you just saying like the Holiday Inn or some okay, kind of. We do not. Nothing is wrong. Nothing wrong with, with the Holiday, holiday Inn. I love Holiday. We but, you just stay there. Better breakfast. But we are at a five-star resort because we're spending that money for our anniversary, um, and it's nice. It's nice. We got a bottle of champagne here. Are you kidding me? Wow. Chocolate strawberries what and a special, Mister. Mister Lard. Lardant, you're Mr. Lardant. Mr. Lardant. <laughs> <laughs> that was at your. That was at your Mrs. Lardant. No, I'm not. Your Savannah. I'm, I'm Mrs. Lebrant. I don't know who Lardant is. Should I tell him that 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 we got the wrong room? <laughs> hey, sorry. Yeah, you sent us to the wrong room with the Lebrants, not the Lardant. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's like so I close. Last name is Lardant because I'm making so much fun of that. Last yeah, name. if you're Lardant out there, let us know. I apologize Sorry. for your last name. Cole Lardant. <laughs> you're Mr. Cole Lardant. Oh, there we go. All right, whatever. Mm -hmm. Chocolate strawberries. All right. Well, we're gonna enjoy our time. Probably won't pick this vlog up much, but if we do, it's gonna be us. Awesome. All right, so I'm vlogging on my phone because uh, I didn't think that Savannah was gonna surprise me with something, but I'm walking down to the beach. I thought we we're just gonna go on the beach, and Savannah surprised me with this for our anniversary. Let me show you guys. Walking like this, and then she has this whole cute little area set up with something that says Happy Tree Anniversary, baby. I led her to the moon, and under there has our wedding song playing. We kind of pause it so we don't get copyrighted. Baby, so cute! Do you like it? Yeah, you can see the vibe. Thank you. Mm, and there's like dinner? What do we have for dinner? I don't know. Do you know what's inside there? Yeah, I do. Is it a mystery? It's good. It's good? Mm. All right, guys, I mean, look at this. Right on the beach, are you kidding me? It's like a dream. Wow, all right. Okay, I'm gonna put the vlog away and enjoy this moment. All right, so we are home, sweet home. We had the best trip ever. Uh, we were only gone for like 24 hours, but I'm telling you. Wait, Sometimes that's time. all you need. That's all you need. 20, no, I mean, we're like 30 miles down the street. <sighs> 24 hours. And we're back to the babies and they're pooped. I guess grandma pooped them out, so. Oh, we got bottles and stuff. And, oh, guys, we gotta show y'all something. We got something cool. 
Guys, cool story about this. That was my blankie that I had whenever I was literally a newborn baby. That's why it's kind of Look, it's kind of cute because even the six-year-old sleeping. You got a six-year-old out? She's like real sleeping. That's not fake sleeping. Oh. We got baby out. They missed us so much that they wanted to sleep to pass the time. Yeah. <laughs> so we got back faster. Guys, I'm going to show you something really cool. Can I have to show off the boxes in front of the house? So guys, so I know that we're, we're like super late on this, but we never did an official house tour video that's complete because as you guys have known, most of our rooms are empty. Uh, we have like our living room that we always film in and our bedroom, but every other room like doesn't have anything in it really. So uh, we've been working with uh, Ashley Furniture to get a big house tour done uh, and get like the house completely furnished. So we are getting literally so many boxes in every single day.